Welcome to this brief demonstration of PubMed Reminer, a tool to help with scoping for systematic reviews. Now, although PubMed Reminer has its own URL, it can be found very easy just by typing in PubMed Reminer into a Google search engine. You'll notice it will come up first on the screen. Now what is PubMed Reminder? Well essentially it's a different view on Medline PubMed from uh, that that we usually see. Usually we look at individual records, they're the things we're interested in. What this is doing is giving us a helicopter view of a particular topic area. So what I'm going to uh, type in here is a very crude strategy and bear in mind that the better the strategy the more likely we will um, gain a uh, an accurate picture of our results. So uh, here I'm typing in colorectal cancer and chemo prevention and um, uh, PubMed uh, Reminder does use some of the mapping facilities that uh, PubMed itself has which allow um, us to um, um, do a more sensitive search than our keywords would suggest. So having typed that in, um, I can um, start PubMed Reminder and essentially what it's doing is it's identifying a set of results and you'll notice that, um, that because what we're trying to do is get a profile of the results um, that um, uh, we, in this particular case we've ended up with over 1500 and so that can be easily addressed by upping the uh, limit, the abstract limit and so we click again to repeat the search and this is doing an instant analysis of the um, data set of relevant re references and you'll notice it, as it's doing this in the right hand column here it says which fields it's going to do analysis of and uh, we'll come to the importance of these um, uh, as we go along here. So um, this has instantly uh, analysed the records retrieved and so going from left to right we can first of all see the distribution of references by year which can help us to decide an appropriate cutoff point and the implications in terms of inclusion and exclusion of various cutoff points. The second is helpful if we're going to be using techniques such as um, looking through electronic tables of contents. It tells us what the key journals are. Um, we may well want to look at those um, journals more closely to make up for any indexing deficiencies. It tells us who the main authors are and that will enable us to identify particular teams and groups that are working in, a, uh, in at the, our chosen review area. And then the next two um, uh, columns here, we have um, uh, the free text words most associated with this group of record. So for example, chemo prevention, neoplasm, um, cancer, and this helps us to construct our search strategy. Um, and then similarly for medical subject headings. So immediately here we can see the implications of restricting um, to humans and excluding animals. We also see that there are two related terms here, colorectal neoplasms and colonic neoplasms. So this helps us in actually devising the search strategy. And at any stage we can click on the P to actually look those records up um, uh, in uh, PubMed. Just moving across there are specific uh, uh, indexing terms for substances that we might uh, uh, choose to specify when we come to doing our full search and very uh, usefully we have a breakdown by publication type. So for example we see that although the number of um, results is um, in the region of 1500 the, the actual number of randomized controlled trials is um, below 100 um, and uh, we, we adding that together to clinical trial which uh, are any other um, trials for which randomization is not clear you can see that we're looking at, at something like 10% of how many we retrieve are in fact randomized controlled trials and of course we can also in, ex, exclude some of the um, 
uh, terms uh, here, so types of publication in our final strategy, such as comments and editorials. And we can also go down the list, for example, to see how many uh, meta-analyses there are. Unfortunately, um, the term for systematic review is not an accepted um, uh, publication type here, and so we can't tell how many um, published systematic reviews already exist. So thank you very much for your attention. If you have any queries about PubMed Reminer, then um, uh, I'm happy to answer those um, by email or by conversation. Um, the final thing to show you is how studies are distributed by country, which may be useful in terms of uh, inclusion and exclusion criteria for your final scope. Thank you very much.